My death scores would be kids from flats, all high from sniffing glue. I'd use them to kill rich Brits and the journalistic whores. So the, any, any, any concept. So you're not mellowing. It's not, you're, you're not taking the Paul McCartney route. You're still... No, really, you know, no. no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you, what, do you, what makes you write? What is it within you? Is it, do you feel it's stuff you've got to get out? I need the just, money, you know. Is that what I mean? <laughs> You just need the money, or are you a poet, really, Shane? How do you, how do you, how do you view yourself? I'm a band leader who writes a lot of his own songs, you know. Yeah. So you don't have a high opinion of yourself. Do you think, do you ever think, I will be, I will, I've got my place in music history? Or do you not care about that? Do you just think, well, I, I do what I like doing? Yeah, I just do what I like doing and uh, hopefully get some bread for it, you know. All right. I know. Yeah. Have you got enough in the bank? No, at the moment, no. <laughs> well, in that case, look, buy Shane McGowan, the crock of gold by Shane McGowan. Give him some money. What do you, 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 you came out in the scene on the punk. Yeah, give it right like that. The crock of gold is killed. Yeah. There you yeah, no, go, sell it. There's a crock of gold. Shane's <laughs> on the back, Shane's on the front. I did the painting on the front as well, yeah. Did you? Yeah. You are multi-talented then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you, before we get back on to what I was talking about there, I just, Westminster School, uh, I, I can't see you fitting in there. What was that like? I didn't fit in there, you know. How long were you actually there for? A year. Right. <laughs> and at what age? Uh, for, uh, 13 to 14 sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, I got kicked out at 14. Right. And uh, I was basically running a, running a, uh, selling drugs to other kids and like, oh. um, and uh, drinking in the local pubs and I should be, should have oh. been in the classes and like, all the rest all of, of that. You know what I mean? So you either had to but form the Pogues or become a Tory MP, I suppose. It was a, <laughs> a straight, you know. Yeah, and I, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, I didn't see, didn't know what the hell I was doing there. You know, yeah. like like priests and teachers at other schools had um, convinced my parents that that I should try for a scholarship in this yeah. this place. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, because I was very talented. You yeah. Know? But in, what, in, did you in, did you write then? Did you write when you were a kid? Yeah, I wrote. I wrote a yeah. lot. It was because of my English compositions and English... That, that you got in, right? Yeah, that I got in, you know, as, as a special kind of thing, right. you know. So, you've kind of, do you keep in touch with any of the people from... From that? <laughs> 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 no, you not just, really. You not. drift apart, Shane, don't yeah. you? For God's sake. <laughs> it doesn't. But you got into the punk scene, and has that been your scene forever, or do you keep up now with what happens? I mean, the rave scene... Do you, well, do I mean, you like I've that lost music touch or? with a lot of the people in the punk scene as well, you know, yeah. I mean, as life goes on, you lose touch with people, but there's some people I've known all, all my life, nearly. Oh, in Ireland, there's people I've known all my life, you right. know. That's, that's one of the good things about Ireland, there's sure. people I've known all my life. And, wh yeah. and what music do you listen to now, for just I listen relaxing. to all sorts of stuff, you Whatever. know what I mean, you know, like... Right. Rock and roll, jazz, country, right. uh, Irish music of any description. Right. Like, so know. all those influences are there. What's it feel like? You, you sort of become this Johnny icon. Johnny Cash, Jerry E. Lewis, you know. Yeah. Like. Yeah. All these guys now quote you, though. You sort of, these are some of your heroes, but now they're sort of going, well, this guy's a poet, this guy's a genius. Is there any praise that, that you actually think, that's actually excited you and thought, God, these guys like me? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. I mean, get, get, getting praised by Christy Moore, getting praised by yeah. Sinead O'Connor, getting praised by, by uh, you know, like, people, like Jerry Lee Lewis said he really told me, you yeah. know. I mean, all that is mind bending, you know. Yeah. Like, you know. What about Bono? Do you I'm get a Bono? very lucky guy, you know. Yeah, sure. Bono? Bono, you? Bono, Bono was a good mate. Yeah, mates, yeah. yeah. Mates are him. The most surprising thing I read about you was that you used to be a fan of Spandau Ballet, is that right? <laughs> well, they're mates of mine. Well, they're, they're, they're just mates, yeah. Yeah, but I like their music. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, of all that early 80s sure. synthesizer crap, you know? What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. 
like they were the <laughs> only ones that pulled it off. In a you, bit not of even style, the Human yeah. League. Do you not think the Human League were? No. Nah, nah, rubbish. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Spread. And they were good because they just yeah. they were just like local street boys. You yeah, know what right. I mean? like, yeah. Shane, you're not sitting there telling me the flock of seagulls are shit, are you? Come yes. on, man. You are. <laughs> he is. No, they are. You're right. <laughs> you're perfectly right. Listen, I look at you and I think, is there is there anyone you've read you've led a rock life in a way, you know, on the road and yeah. drinking well documented, drug taking well documented. Is there anyone in the business that you look at and go? Shit, he's taking it a bit far. He's a bit out of order, or you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it's a lot worse people than me. I mean, look at Keith Richard. You know. Keith I mean, Richard, yeah, I get. It. But do you think Keith, you should calm down, mate. Take it easy. Do you think that? No, I've met him, and he seems yeah. to be doing fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he really is. Really nice bloke. You yeah, know? he is still doing it. Yeah. He's still there. What is your? You, you, is the thing that pisses you off most people talking about you drinking? Well, it does get a bit boring after a while. Right. It has got a bit boring over 15 years, you know. Is that what every... Does every journalist open an interview with yeah, you yeah, about yeah, drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I won't pursue it. Then. Right. Other than... <laughs> you managed to mention it, but you won't pursue yeah, it. Yeah, I mentioned it, but I I'm not, you know, I'm not bringing it up as a topic, obviously. Um, so, because I, instead, I don't want to talk about drink, I want to talk about acid. Is it true? <laughs> Is it actually <laughs> Shane? Tell me it's tell me it's not true that you used to take fifteen tabs of acid a day. That this count? At one stage, I I, I did do that. Yeah. Do you, I was a very silly boy. I, well, <laughs> I can imagine what. But what happens? Does it does it get more, or do you just level out? What? It just becomes normality, you know. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't no. encourage anybody to try it. You know? Wouldn't recommend it? No. Is you, it th you think you're behaving normally, but nobody but else not. does. You know what I mean? But then, did, did you really eat a Beach Boys album? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? <laughs> <laughs> but then some people want to do that just, you know, <laughs> after half a pint. So Beach Boys <laughs> greatest since volume three. It, it, was, was. it was volume three. <laughs> Why did you think, volume two, nah. <laughs> That's not tasty. What, what was the story? How come you were eating a Beach Boys album? I thought I was convincing the Russian ambassador of, of the uh, worthlessness of uh, American imperialism. <laughs> no, you know. No, that doesn't... Make, that does make sense, actually. That does, actually. And what about Irish... Irish theme pubs like, you know, Shaney O'McGowan's and Beckett O'Joyce's in London. The Irish theme pub, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it's better than no blacks, no Irish, no dogs, you know. Yeah, which, yeah. Which was 30 well, years ago, be, yeah. you know, when, you know, like, sure. you know, I mean, like, we used to be treated like shit, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, and uh, I'd rather yeah. the Irish were hip than treated like shit, you know yeah. what I mean? But. Those theme pubs do get on my tits a bit. Yeah. yeah. So you don't go drinking there then? Sorry, I've mentioned it again. I've got a real Irish pub. Real yeah. Irish pubs yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. Well, long may you continue to do so. It's been a pleasure meeting you. And good luck with the new album. Crock of Gold, Shane McGowan and Pope's been pleasure. Shane McGowan, everyone! <laughs> Shane 